Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions. All right, guys, we got some pretty crazy market conditions going on right now, to say the least. So the 10 year is up around 3.7. The DXY is around 111.5. S&P is getting slammed. It's down in the mid 37s and the Dow Jones is around 30,000. Okay. Now I just put this in my community tab. Had you told me these numbers at the beginning of the week or last week, especially considering 3,900 was an important support level for the S&P, I would have said, if you would have asked me, do you think Bitcoin will be above or below 1,800, 18,000? I would have said below. Just this is honest as I can be. So I'm kind of surprised in what's happening with alts and with Bitcoin right now. And it's not just what's happening right now today. Guys, my core positions in aggregate, I have one that's down significantly since the rest of the local bottoms, local bottoms with alts. But out of my 11 or 12 core positions, from their local bottoms in aggregate they're probably up over 30 percent so and that includes bitcoin and ethereum are included in that group but i'd have to do the numbers but i'm almost positive it's over 30 percent because icp is right around 30 percent algorand's now up um you tap polygon quant cosmos and ethereum uh, Ethereum's over 30% up. So my core positions, again, in aggregate, are probably 30 plus percent, maybe closer to 40% up, given Polygon, Quant, and Cosmos from their local bottoms. So if those are the numbers that I'm looking at personally, I can't sit here and get all like crazy because those are the numbers that I'm looking at. Now, I'm not saying that they're not going to drop further. We're, fa we're staring down some pretty gnarly market conditions, to say the least. Now, I just saw a video come out from Nobody Special Finance talking about how Japan was dumping U.S. debt. And I did not watch the video. So I just saw the video, the video cover come up. That might, be ha that might have something to do with why bond yields are going up so high. And on top of that, so blockchain backer did a video earlier today i would highly recommend watching his channel even just as another analyst i don't think that you should you know narrow in on one particular analyst to say this is the guy i try to listen to the ones giving the bearish case the bullish case you should be you know analysts should be presenting both sides and saying hey here's what we need to see for this if we see this this is not good xyz um but okay again let's assume this is the big one let's assume it is for me i just don't care I, I remember a video i did earlier this year and i said whenever the big one happens i'm going to be sitting on my porch feet kicked up just watching the show because i've already accumulated enough i have a lot of crypto i have a decent amount of silver and i'm just gonna ride out the storm if this is the big one and if these alts do go back to their local bottoms and below, I'm just going to average down the same way I did over the last few months. My algorithm position is in profit at 39 and some change. It's at like 37 right now. It could go right back down to 30. I just, that's, you know, that's what I mean when I say lower my average. My average was 80 cent for algorithm. I lowered it south of 40 cent. Again, you do whatever you want to do. You f do whatever you feel most confident in. But for me, I've accumulated enough crypto if the, the, you know, the caveats here. As long as this remains the new system and as long as implementation continues, I've accumulated enough crypto to retire before 40. And that was my goal. That was my goal, was if my investment thesis is correct, and if this does continue to be implemented all over the world, then I want to buy as much as I can to where I can retire within a certain time frame. And mission accomplished. 
Now, all I need is them to just continue to implement the new system and for this to continue to be the new system and for me to just wait. That's it. Is there a possibility that they might just scrap their whole new tech infrastructure for the entire world, for the entire new internet and financial system? I guess it's possible. Sure, anything is possible. But again, I have to see evidence. And the only evidence I'm seeing that's coming out is evidence that suggests the exact opposite. The other day, NASDAQ, a couple days before that, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, Citadel, all getting involved. A couple week, a week before that, BlackRock, it just goes on and on and on and on. So, and I know how much they need this new system for what they want to do with central bank digital currencies, what they want to do with digital IDs, what they want to do with the tokenization of the entire economy. There is so much wealth that can be generated from this. Crypto, in my opinion, the new blockchain system, the, the tokenization of all assets, that is the stimulus package for after all this blows up, in my opinion. And it's not even necessarily just my opinion. Pippa Malmgren went on Real Vision yesterday. Pippa Malmgren, the same lady, the keynote speaker at the World Government Summit, who said we're going to abandon the old system of money and accounting and adopt a new system on the blockchain. And unless I missed it, I never saw that statement be retracted or corrected. Openly said at the World Government Summit, which is pretty much the second or one of the two biggest meetings that happens with the global elites every year. So she was on Real Vision. And she's an economist, and they were asking her about her, you know, finances, her portfolio. She said, I'm in tech. I think that, you know, the fractionalized finance world talking about blockchain, crypto, and tokenization is going to be just, it's going to take over. It's going to be the biggest technical revolution. The, I think she called it the fourth industrial revolution. And, uh, you know, and every single day, there's more examples of the most powerful institutions in the world getting involved. So as long as this remains the new system, as long as implementation continues, my attitude, my mindset does not change. If this is the big one, if they are going to collapse markets, okay, I've already done the, the part that I had to do which was accumulate enough crypto to where if this does remain the new system, if implementation does continue, then I'm good in a certain time period. And that's it for me. So if this is the big one, I'll be kicked up right here watching the fireworks. Now, one more thing. Um, oh, and another thing too. DXY, yes, it's in the danger zone. Yes, it's very problematic. If it keeps going higher, it's a nightmare situation. It's hit its third highest monthly RSI in the last 37 years. Three months ago, Bitcoin hit the lowest monthly RSI that it's ever hit. The DXY can still go higher. Bitcoin can still go lower. I'm just saying, just look at the next three to six months, three to six to 12 months. And, you know, I think that there is easily a case for, there, there's an argument for either side here. How it plays out is however it plays out. But again, it just doesn't matter for me because I've accumulated enough to where I can retire within my certain time frame. That's it. Uh, so I would, Blockchain Backer did a video today talking about the implications here of new lows with the Dow Jones, which it's not too far away from right now. I think new lows would be under 29,888. We're around 30,000. Uh, I would recommend checking that out. And, you know, I, I would just try to get as much different perspectives as you can, but actual real analysis. Anybody can get on and just give a bunch of hyperbole and opinion and no data driven analysis, which is what a lot of that's going on right now. Um, but, you know, everything goes back to your plan, your strategy, your goals, your overall conviction, your investment thesis. My opinion doesn't matter. What I'm doing doesn't matter. I show it for transparency. Go back to your conviction level, your investment thesis, your plan, and what you're going to do in either outcome. Prepare for either outcome, all right? That's all I have for this video. I'll do another video as things progress because it looks like things are gonna get pretty crazy as it stands right now. Take care, have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.